what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so in this video we're going to talk quickly about david arquette recently having a lot to say about his character dewey and being very grateful for that character and how it means a lot to him also he briefly touched on wanting to reprise the character in many future sequels should screen 5 pr prove to be a worthy uh return of the franchise so when speaking to comic book uh in a recent interview david arquette had the following to say about the character dewey i love playing the character dewey it's had such an important role in my life as an actor you try to do films that work that entertain people that audiences get a kick out of you seldom you seldom do something for a small audience to talk to a very niche group the horror fan base is huge so when you really connect with them and then it even goes beyond that it's really a special thing when ready or not directors matt benelli and tyler get Tyler Gillett approached me I was in first and now we've got Courtney Cox on board and hopefully Nev Campbell will join the team and then we can shoot this thing as far as getting to play Dewey many more times that would be amazing now just to touch on that last part real quick getting to see David Arquette as Dewey many more times I've already made it pretty clear and a lot of you've already made it pretty clear where your stance is on that I can respect what they're going to do. If they do it, I'll be there to support it if it's good. However, me personally, after after Scream 5, I only personally want one more Scream movie. And the only reason I even want Scream 5 and Scream 6 is because many years later, after Scream 3 was supposed to be the final chapter. Uh, and sometimes when I when I rewatch this franchise, I, I even treat it like that still. I sometimes will just watch the first three and won't even watch Scream 4. The only reason I even care to see Scream 5 or Scream 6 get done is because the original intent behind Scream 4 being made was to launch a brand new trilogy. I'd love to just see Kevin Williamson's Kevin Williamson and Wes Craven's intent with Scream 4 just be completed. Now, if they want to go beyond Scream 6 and go beyond Scream 5, of course, if it performs well and they want to branch out and and give us a new set of characters to follow and focus on because that obviously is what they're doing because again we know the directors are ready or not are helming this we know that we have kevin williamson on as an executive producer we know we already found our writers one of the writers wrote zodiac someone the other writer i believe worked on ready or not he's also worked on a few episodes of castle rock if i'm not mistaken so very good mix there zodiac is an, is a great film so i'm definitely excited about how he's going to approach this now approach this franchise from his point of view we already know we have a lot of good elements in the mix here we have david arquette officially back on board we have courtney cox back on board reprising their roles as dewey and gail riley that's what i'm assuming assuming these characters are still married all these years later uh but we also now know due to leaks that and again i've already talked about these leaks uh and i've I, like i made mention just to talk about the leaks really quick i would hope that these leaks are actually again i hope and pray that these leaks are already like they they prep for this I, I would hope you prep for this i hope that this person named sarah if she turns out to be curvy job well done to you guys because knowing how much bad luck the screen franchise has with leaks going all the way back to screen two and now here we are again with screen five knowing how bad the franchise is when it comes to leaks i would hope that they prep for this so if sarah this new supposed new lead girl who is who is going to be the one returning to her hometown to investigate a series of vicious crimes and our original three are just going to somehow factor into the mix because we have a whole set of new characters that we're going to be focusing on if these leaks are true and these characters are true i believe the the leaks information is true but these character names might just be cover-ups if these names end up being cover-ups job well done to the filmmakers already because you you took note of the previous leak history of this franchise and you prepped for it not only that you probably wrote up multiple drafts and you used the draft with the code names for the audition tapes to cover up the fact that kirby's actually back that's again if kirby ends up being sarah somehow and sarah isn't even an actual person this is just a cover-up for the audition tapes to protect from stuff like this like the information getting leaked uh because i could be potentially leaking things that aren't actually actually the case when it comes to these characters it could be sarah being kirby Teresa could be a different name this that and the other so if we find out that kirby is sarah job well done to the filmmakers because you guys you guys did you guys did the ultimate protection when it comes to protecting yourself from leaks <laughs> uh but getting back on topic 
with the whole idea of moving forward with the franchise. If these characters that we get in Screen 5 are characters that we all can learn to love and get behind the same way we had with Kirby from Screen 4, now you're going to talk about a whole new set of characters, though, because Kirby was just one out of a whole supporting cast. If we can learn to get behind these characters, I don't see why not. If Screen 5 is a success, got a good set of uh, writers here who've written up a good script. I don't see why they couldn't continue the concept even further. But me personally, I want this franchise done after Scream 6. I'll still watch. I'll still watch, but I'll probably kind of just be tuned out of it at that point. Because I believe their intent here is to move away from Sydney, Dewey, and Gale. And I'm fine with that. A lot of you might stop watching just because those people are gone. I even made the comparison of this might end up being like Degrassi. You guys won't watch anything past Scream 5 because our Degrassi kids have already, that we grew up on, like Drake and Emma and Spinner and Manny JT, <laughs> comparing it to Degrassi, after Scream 4 or after Scream 5, you won't have any interest in watching any more of this stuff because now you're moving on to your Holly J's and your uh, Declan's and your james and all these other new degrassi characters that no one seemed to care about after drake and his class left now i'm comparing scream to degrassi i know weird comparison but i kind of feel like that's what we're going to be getting at we're going to be in that same situation i love degrassi i stopped watching it after drake and his class left i couldn't take it i couldn't take the new kids i couldn't take the recycled storylines so <laughs> i feel like that's where we'll be ending up with i know that's their intent for the most part it seems like they're trying to take this narrative and push it away from sydney push it us push it into a new direction give us a new lead girl i'm all for it if the characters are people we can get behind and like but again it sounds like a lot like we're going into degrassi territory where no one cares about seasons 9 through 15 if you're a diehard and you just can't bring yourself to watch a screen movie without sydney doing and yell you're probably going to be done with this franchise after screen 5 if their real intent here is to do that then that's probably going to be where you stop watching screen movies. You'll probably own all of them like I do, but you'll probably stop after screen five. You might even stop after screen three sometime like I do. <laughs> um, but David Arquette talking about the character of Dewey, showing his appreciation for it and how it's helped his career. Uh, much respect for him as an actor. I do love the character Dewey. I just, at this point, I wouldn't care if he died. It'd be, I say that now, but honestly, when I see one of these three big characters die because they've been with us for all these four movies they've been in my childhood uh for over 20 something years at this point so if i see one of them die that's gonna strike a core with me that's gonna strike a core but at the same time i'm ready i'm ready to let these three characters go i am ready to let them go i'm ready to see what could potentially be a successful and good future route to take if screen 5 is effectively done properly uh, with Kevin Williamson being involved and already giving his stamp of approval and Nev Campbell saying she liked what was brought to her, we're still just waiting to hear what the official involvement from her will be. A lot of people have speculation that they don't think she's officially on board. I think all of these actors and actresses are on board. I think Nev is, is on board already. I think David has been on board. And I think Courtney has been on board. I think the plan here always was to roll them out like this, saving the full cast announce, announcement with the final announcement of the big three from the franchise with Sydney being announced and then when Sydney gets announced Nev Campbell being announced as reprising her role as Sydney Prescott with all that that's when we'll get the rest of the cast because like I said before Jocelyn Hudon she seems to be very adamant and very much leaning towards the fact that she's in this movie but she can't come out and say anything because there's a big press release that's apparently planned that's the only thing that's speculation but the fact that no one can tell us that they're in this project there's a big press release plan for the whole whole cast to be announced probably around the time when Neff Campbell officially gets announced as she's coming back home to the franchise that made her a screen queen screen to reprise her role as Sydney Prescott uh but let me know what you guys think about David Arquette's remarks what you guys think about possibly getting more screen movies down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description I'll have links to my social media accounts my Facebook Twitter and Instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future down in the comment section I'm gonna have a link to the Facebook group go ahead and join that group if you want to stay up to date on anything horror related or just discuss horror amongst yourselves or stay up to date on anything regarding this channel with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.